In this video, we will learn how to create database account using Azure Cloud. So open portal.azure.com and log into your Microsoft account. If you don't have create it, it's very super easy to create your Azure account. I already have, so I logged in. So I logged in and then uh, uh, after that, once I log in, I will search for Azure Databricks. So I will click here in the Azure Databricks. Then I will be seeing this screen where it will show me that I don't have a subscription. So I have the account but I don't have subscription. So I will create the Azure free trial and I click here on the start the Azure free trial. So Azure free free trial will give me uh, 30 days uh, means uh, for 12 months or whatever the popular service there for that I will get the free things and it will give 13,000 something uh, credit for me. So I can utilize that much account credit so that's all so we can click here on agree and i will agree all the term and click next so there is two way of verification so first i i need to verify by my mobile number so i i have my mobile number i will get the otp on my common number so i have entered the more otp i received and entered and then there is identity i have to identify myself using the card so this is my free account so it will not charge me anything as soon as unless you will me move to the pay as you go pricing so it won't charge so don't worry about the money and all as soon as you are using free trial account you will not it won't, it won't charge so enter all the credit card details and click on sign in so it will cut just two rupees that is just for the verification purpose purpose for security reason so it will verify with the bank all the things like it is you so once you enter the otp it will re redirect from the payment gateway to azure portal so now uh, it will just simply back to come back to the same uh, agreement so if you it not come then fine otherwise you just click on uh, i agree i agree and then click next already we have verified so uh, we don't have to verify again it will show that my credit card is verified already and then click on sign in so that's all so this is the way we will uh, subscribe to the azure account once the subscription is done it is asking me to for microsoft authentication authenticator this for uh, security purpose so multi-factor authentication so you download the microsoft authenticator and uh, uh, from there you open the Microsoft Authenticator the mobile and click on plus sign and uh, scan it. Once you scan you will get the number that is displaying there. You have to enter the number and that's done. So this is uh, very super easy to uh, verify your account with the Microsoft Authenticator. So for the next time whenever you are logging you have to uh, put the number, some number you will get in your screen and that number you have to enter in your Authenticator app. So that's all. This is the way we will you will create your Azure account and subscribe to the free trial. Once subscription is done for free trial, you have to go to your Azure portal again. And uh, once you will go to the Azure portal, you will see here there are uh, many quick start center where you will see all the different different kinds of project or you can explore Azure account from here. But what I have to do, I need to click search for Azure Databricks and uh, search for open azure databricks so this this will open azure databricks workspace and uh, azure database service and there is no azure database service so i will create azure database service so this is simple so we will click on uh, azure database uh, services and uh, again it will choose it will ask me to choose the subscription so i just have the free trial subscriptions so you can create or click on free trial but remember that uh, with the free trial you will not able to create a Databricks SQL server and all so that I will tell you later for that you need pay as you go subscription but for learning purpose free trial is fine so click on free trial and and then uh, you have to create the resource group so whatever the resource you have created it will be under one resource group so I'll just given the name dang and then we have to name the workspace so whatever the workspace you are giving here with the same workspace we create the catalog as well so that that i will show you later so but uh, keep in mind that 
after selecting all those things we have to choose the region so i am in bangalore so i will select south india region so where you, where you are where from where you are working you have to, to to choose close to that region it will be good for latency and improve your speed and uh, it will be fast i clicked on uh, trial free trial and then create review so this is the way you can create azure databricks account and internally it will uh, now start de deployment in the process it will take some time for that i will wait for that so once uh, it will done so we'll open to the we'll go to resource and uh, we'll see here databricks resources up and running fine so we'll create and launch our workspace and it will open my databricks so you can see we are the welcome to databricks interface and uh, here you can see all the databricks uh, things like uh, sql data engineering data ml all the services everything is listed here so if you go to the resource you can see in the back end it created it created the uh, all this uh, account storage account and uh, other things as well so yeah so that's all for this video thank you very much